Hey, have it all Academy peeps. Welcome to another tutorial. Today, I want to introduce you to Edgar. I met Edgar recently, it's quite new, but it's a brand new social media management tool. So I've introduced you to CoSchedule, I've introduced you to Hootsuite, and there are many, many others out there. But I really want to show you Edgar today. I personally think it's brilliant. I've only been using it for one day, so there's probably a lot more to figure out um, yet. But so far, it's really, really good. So um, Edgar is, well, you can find Edgar at meetedgar.com. Have a look at the website. Anyway, I signed up for it. It is $49 a month. So have a think about whether or not that's something you want to spend. But it, I can see that it's already saving me lots of time. Also, I have to say that I am not paid by Edgar to do this promotion. I literally just want to share it with you because I can see the value of it. I can already see that it's saving me a lot of time. So let's dig into it. Um, Edgar has a brilliant tutorial as well, but I thought, you know what, I'll show it from my end because it'll have content in there rather than looking empty. So as soon as you get started, Edgar will ask you to hook up your social media accounts, which I have done. And it's quite interesting because rather than just adding um, your business pages and things, you can also add personal profiles and groups, which is pretty cool. So I have hooked up my personal profile, my um, members group. So it's a, it's a closed group. My Facebook page, um, another Facebook page that I manage, my sister company. My LinkedIn page, my Twitter page, and the other sister company's Twitter page. Um, you can add other um, profiles, pages, groups, um, LinkedIn companies. There's different things you can add. So that's pretty cool. So the way Edgar works is that you have categories of types of posts. Um, so, for example, I've set up... Um, a category that's Friday. So these are the things that I only want to go out on Friday, which could be like a question like, um, how did your week go? Share it with us. Um, Edgar actually introduces you to a number of categories. So I haven't changed inspirational or funny. Edgar actually suggests this. Um, promotional blog post questions, tips. I'm pretty sure Edgar all introduced those. I've added Fridays, Mondays, and links to other pages and posts. But you can do whatever you want. Like you can edit it um, if you want to change the category name. Um, you can add new categories, all sorts of things. So they define your posts by category, which I think is, is really good because, I don't know, I'm a visual person. I can get it right in my head. Then what you do is within those categories, you build a library. So I already have some things in my library, so in these categories. And um, the way that it works is you add new content. So add new content um, allows you to add things to your library. You choose a category, so you put in what you want to do. So let's pick Mondays. You put your text update there and you can also add an image. You can also add links. So I've actually connected my um, Edgar account to my Bitly account. So any links I put in um, will be shortened, which is quite handy rather than having, you know, this really, really, really long link list. So for example, let's put in, hey, how was your weekend? Um... going to do that. I'm just using this as an example. So that goes in the category Mondays. So obviously I don't really want to put that on a Wednesday. Um, you can choose a specific time, but any other than that, that's pretty much what you do. You select your accounts. So I can put this in my personal profile, but generally I choose my Facebook page, LinkedIn page, Twitter, and it 
actually tells you how many characters you have left. So if you were to put something in that was too long for Twitter, you can unclick it and it will just go out to the other platforms that you've selected. I might add the other pages in as well. So you can choose which accounts you want to add this to. So it'll go into the library for those accounts. Um, save content. And then you can put another one in. So this is really, really handy to just block out and batch um, a big amount of time and just put it in there. So you, like you prepare a whole list of questions, like if, if you wanted to do questions and you just add them all to your library. Then you go to schedule and you create your social media schedule. This is my personal profile. I'm not really going to make a schedule for that. It's just, you know, to catch up with family and friends. Um, I could do one for my Facebook group. I haven't done that just yet. I've only just started. Um, this is literally my second day in Edgar, but I really wanted to show it to you. Anyway, you can create your schedule. So what I've done, I've already done three days and five posts a day. It's up to you how many you do. Start with one, two, three, maybe. Um, this is my Facebook page, by the way. Um, so you can create your schedule and Edgar will pull the content for your post from your library. So as you can see, these are the categories that are posting. So I don't actually know what's, well, I can show you what will be posted on that day and I will do that in a minute. But rather than you having to sp specify what exactly you want to post on a certain day, Edgar will just pull it out of your library for you. Now, if you want to choose to post something just once, there is a category and that says once only. So you'll only post that once. You can um, also add, you know, a specific time slot and you only want to post it once rather than add it to your library. So that's pretty good. Anyway, I'll give you an example. So add time slot. Let's say we'll do 7.55 a.m. And Edgar can also do random. So if you really don't know what to post, it'll just pull it from whichever category. Um, so on a Thursday, let's start with a blog post. It'll pull it from my blog post. Save. And there we are. So every single Thursday, Edgar will post a blog post at 7.55 a.m. And you can have a look at your statistics to see what times people are on your Facebook page and then plan accordingly. So I still have to put the rest of the schedule in. Usually on Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays, I only post twice a day um, just because there's less traffic on, on the sites on the weekend, I find. Um, for my Facebook pages, but yours might be completely different. Like if you have a cafe or a restaurant, people might be actually checking it out a lot more on the weekend or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So have a look at your statistics. So that's just a Facebook page. I've actually not gone into my LinkedIn schedule yet or my Twitter schedule yet. So I still have to set up a lot more. So how do you know what's going to be posted on that day? Well... For that, you go to the queue, which pretty much shows you exactly what's going to be posted. So on Monday, I had chosen to start the day with tips. So 8 a.m., which is in my schedule, in my calendar, every Monday at 8 a.m., Edgar will pull a tip from my um, category, from my library, and post that for me. If you don't like what Edgar has chosen for you, you can choose the shuffle button and it'll pick something else. You can edit it. Um, but for now, I'm going to just leave this because I quite like it. So this is what's going to be posted in my Facebook page um, because I haven't specified any of the other social media platforms yet. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to Edgar. I think it's brilliant because um, I don't have to think about every single post that I um, want to schedule. So this means that your content will be recycled. 
So the bigger your library, the less frequently it gets used, but it doesn't like it means that it doesn't go to waste, which is great because if you ask a question now, um, you could totally ask that question again in you know two three months time. So having that in your library, um, in your Edgar library, is just fantastic. So you can put images in there, um, links, so you can see that shows up as a bit.ly link because I have hooked it up um, to bit.ly. Um, quotes, you can put quote images in there. There's all sorts of things. Um, so have a look. Um, Edgar's actually free. So you put in your... Um, payment details when you sign up but it's free for the first 60 days so if you didn't like it at all after a while you can cancel your account um, like I said this is my second day in Edgar and I can already see that this is going to save me a lot of time and you could also work with um, someone who could do this for you so rather than you scheduling I actually quite enjoy it <laughs> Um, but rather than you scheduling, like you can probably schedule your blog posts. But if you say um, have a VA, a virtual assistant that you hire for maybe two hours a week, you can ask her to, you know, schedule your, like give her a list of quotes, give her a list of tips, give her a list of blog posts and she can schedule this for you. Um, but it's already a time saver for me at the moment. So that's Edgar. That's really what I wanted to introduce you to. Um, have a look at the website, have a look at Edgar's um, own tutorials, see um, what they do differently. I wanted to show you mine because it has actual content in it. Um, that's it really. Hopefully um, Edgar might be able to help you in scheduling your social media as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the Have It All Academy membership site. See you later. Thank you.